Today, we're gonna to be doing an activity about quoting chords and using visuals to represent songs and emotions. So before you do any of these activities, I recommend going and watching the Psy Girls episode where they work with coding chords and the Metro Deaf School, because a lot of what we're gonna be doing is based on that show. If you have already seen it, I recommend having it open just to reference when we're doing the activities. All right, so to begin for challenge one, we're going to be picking a song and then representing it in a story form. First of all, pick your song. I'm gonna use Happy by Pharrell Williams. If you need help picking, there should be some in the guide or pick your favorite song. Once you've done that, brainstorm what emotions or lyrics you want to represent. Is it a happy song or a sad song? And then choose what colors, shapes, and general images you want to do to express that emotion. Once you have that, you can start constructing. For my song, I decided a cactus and a star would be some fun shapes. So you can draw that, choose your colors, and then cut it out. And keep in mind you can use whatever kind of visuals you want, whether it's circles or squares, or you want to make abstract things like flowers or rainbows. Um, do whatever you feel would best express whatever lyrics or song you picked. All right, once you have all your shapes cut out, you can start laying them out on a background. I recommend black or white, but whatever you think would help portray that emotion. So you can lay them out and once you've decided on a good visual, take your glue stick. Once you've decided on a pattern, take your glue stick and keep apply it to the paper. Once you've completed your storyboard, I recommend challenging your family and friends to guess what song you picked and what emotion you were portraying. 